What's up guys, this is Oxford here, and today I'm going to do, explain how I learned how to call functions in any game. Now, I just want to get straight into it. The reason why I'm doing this is because I noticed most tutorials online just, either they weren't talking a lot and they weren't explaining why they thought about what they did, how they did it, and why it was um, a good decision to be done. And I didn't really find much videos of that, but today I'm going to release my own, starting with a print to screen function in Call of Duty Black Ops Zombies. Now, if we call UFO, which I'm already in UFO mode, by the way, if we call UFO, you see that it prints to the bottom left saying on or off. UFO on or off. Now, if we just exit out of also come in. We can load up item, and I'm going to use an already decompiled uh, exe, or we're going to use my decompiled IDE. But you're going to have to do your own, and it might take maybe a few minutes depending on your PC. Now, when you load up item, um, uh, we have to restart. IDA. I apologize. Okay, we're going to switch up UFO. And by the way, if you don't know how to get the screen with strings window, do shift F12. We're going to see UFO um, with the carrot 2. This is the carrot and the 2 is actually color coding. And this right here, I believe, is actually a command call. All this is just regular strings. It could be for anything, naming, placements. It could be anything. But right now we're going to focus on this, because it specifically says UFO on, and if we go back to the game, you can see the same thing. Right here, on a data reference, we're going to call, we're going to go to the function that it was called on, and we're going to go ahead and decompile. Now, as you see here, we have a standard call, sub-reference to this address right here, and its constructor holds two parameters, called an int pointer and a regular int. Uh, most likely this int pointer will get dereferenced with an execution. Right here are all values, uh, variables that are get as values from the stack. Things of concern would be this constant character pointer which is probably the string that is used to uh, print out. Right here we have the int v2, which is we're just from the stack. This is going to, and by the way, it's not uh, pulling from the stack, this is things that will be pushed to stack. If we have v2 right here, uh, getting the dereference value of a1, which is right here. Next, we notice in the execution that it's doing a check, a logical check, and seeing that if you have SV cheats on, if not. It's going to print out cheats are not enabled in the server. Uh, I say this because if you try to execute UFO without SV cheats, it will say cheats are not enabled in the server. Next, we don't worry about all this stuff, but we're going to come down to here in this formatting. We have V9, which is the constant character point, is um, being changed to this. And it does another logical check to see that if you have. UFO on already, you will instead change it to off. It will change the string value to say off instead of on. And then it will call this function right here with the parameters. And notice this is the same function that's being called here. So if we check on it and grab its uh, reference and decompile it, center from the top, you see that it is getting a1, a2, and constant character pointer that's most likely going to get printed out. And as you can see right here, uh, this is a function that is calling 
the print function because if we check on it, it contains modules from VA start and VA list, which is related to sprintf function. So this is the function we're going to be looking at. This is definitely the one that prints out right here. This is definitely the message and this triple dots here is most likely a erratic statement. It could mean anything. It could be for anything. So we're just going to focus on this function right here. Now we're going to open up Visual Studios. Create a new project and a DLO. We're going to name this backups to screen print. Okay, I already have that one. We'll just do screen print one. Uh, that old screen print folder is from a failed recording where my audio cut off, so I had to redo it. So we're going to start off right here. We're going to set our architecture to XA6 and the release. And with our configuration, we're going to go to C slash C++, go to pre compiled headers, and set it to not using. We just do a quick test compile right here. And if everything works, then we'll just delete this. We're going to include Windows API. We're going to create a void function and we're going to call it red main. And once the DLL is attached to the process, we're going to call it red main. Now, usually, you might want to uh, implement thread walking or do um, or create okay and call free library which this function is right here just want to input my h module and that Execute will be zero. But since we are not going to do that right now, we are going to uh, actually give this uh, actual function. We're going to call it, a, we're going to create a type definition structure. I'm going to do standard call pointer and we're going to do setup. You can name this anything you want to, but I'm just going to do setup. Then right here, we're going to put in the argument the, into the constructor. Or we're going to create the structor with these arguments, which only are meant for this set of variables. So in A1, A2, oh sorry. Uh, into a1 a2 it has a format here but i believe this format is actually just uh constant it's going to get attached to a3 so or it's either that or it's just a variotic statement a3 would be the variotic statement so it wouldn't really matter at all so we're going to put eight a1 eight a2 and constant character pointer message grab the erratic statement next we're going to do setup print to screen equals reinterpret cast and we're going to cast it to the setup structure and then paste in the memory address which we are getting the function from right here Next, we're going to call print to screen. We'll do zero. Let's check out the function zero. We're just going to do zero. We're going to set our message right here. But before we continue, 
we have to check if this is uh, good enough to have the message printed to the screen. Which if we check back at the original function, we had forgot to include the formatting, which I said would be added on to it already. So the formatting would actually be this. Whoops. And we're going to actually do call from function. Okay, to explain what's going on here, uh, this right here, the backslash and the mm, quotation marks, this is just to add the quotation marks to the string, because if not, if you're going to actually do just regular quotation marks, it would mess up the ID formatting. So that's why you do backslash. Just reverse it. Yeah. Now if we build this, go into the game and print this out. It should work. Let's see, call from function um so there's really anything you could do with this. You could even uh, call this multiple times. And you could also hook the function. So whenever it is called, no matter what, it will print out whatever you want it to print out instead of what it usually prints out. Okay. So we'll call it again. You see, it has different colors for each time it calls uh, the function. So yeah, that's it. Hope you guys understood. If not, leave questions down in the comments and I'll answer them for you.